Hello and welcome to Vlogmas week three. Oh my gosh. Kombucha. We got delivery from an Australian place called Federal Cafe and we got an acai bowl. Very Aussie. <gasps> wow. And French toast. Yep, I look like this. So we are going Christmas shopping today. My mum's up going into town and it was raining loads this morning and now it's all blue skies, which is great. So just finishing off getting ready and I thought I'd take you with me. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm back from shopping now, I'm exhausted and I lost my Fitbit and spent quite too much money but I got some cute things so up first from Zara I got this cute chocolate brown top I got one of these like just sleeved things from Zara I was quite annoyed they didn't have any like leggings the limitless leggings there which is a bit annoying I got this cute little top this was only $7.99 what steel and then tried everything on so we got this cute little basic and then I got loads of Christmas presents so I can't show you those from home since I got 30 hangers 30 for 9.99 hopefully I won't run out this time so string green honestly it could have bought everything okay it's doing my head in so I got this cute little glass bars it was just so cheap it was $3.98. And then honestly, if you've got so string green near you, then we're lucky. Um, they do good pants grass. And I've got these little bun tail ones. Those can go in there. Slightly long. Oh well, we'll make it work. And then oh, I think these are broken. Oh, that's mine because I was just going to shape these into like a um. swirly bit. But I think they've cracked, so that's fun. And yeah, everything else is Christmas presents, so I can't show you. Sorry. I mean, I was meant to vlog all weekend, but I just didn't. So it's Sunday now. I look like this. And I'm gonna do everything that everyone else seems to be doing in the world and mold some candles. So from So Stream Green, I got some candles. They were literally 33p each. They have cracked a bit though. Like, I don't know if you can see, but I've seen online people doing it. So all I've literally done is just put some more water in the sink. This should repair the cracks also. And I'm just putting them in here. And in like 15 minutes, they should be a bit softer and I can bend them. I left them for like 20 minutes in just warm water is what another like video I saw set to do. And it literally did nothing. So I boiled the kettle, watched an episode of The Real Housewives. And we're gonna give them a go. Hopefully these cracks have been fixed so uh it's all gross anyway oh no i feel like this is just cracking Oh no, look, it's all cracked. It didn't work. Maybe if I put it back in, try and stick it, what about this one? I wanted to do this like a worm, but this has got a massive crack in it. Um, I mean, this crack wasn't bad holding until it cools oh, my hair. but um yeah so that's a bit annoying but there's one i mean i like the idea but they are slightly broken so they do need to be held up against the box but 
They don't look too awful. I mean, they're not the best, but they're not the worst. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Santa's Grotto, aka my living room. I've decided to do a wrap with me, part of Vlogmas. I've actually gone a bit mad this year and I still need to get my dad's Christmas presents, so that's fun. So I thought I'd just do a come wrap with me, show you how I wrap everything. <sighs> it's fine, I'm a bit overwhelmed at how much I've actually got. How much have I spent? That's another question I don't think I want to know the answer to. So this is a hair up job. I need to open things from their postal boxes and that's like the first step but actually I'll show you my wrapping paper first because I have like a theme and I've got some bows somewhere. So I got wrapping paper from Sainsbury's, it was like three for two so I've just got that. But I was in Social Green Green the other day and they had such nice stuff so I wish I'd got it there instead but I'd already bought this so I've got like kind of gold with stars on, quite simple and then this is just like red and kind of like parcel paper and then I've got this white one too with like snowflakes on but it smells funky but not good and then i've got oh, got some name like name tags which are gone so those aren't gonna go with the anyway it's fine and then i've got these like pull bow things i'll demonstrate and everything once it's all done i got them last year and they just really make the present just look that much better and i also have some candy canes for my sisters because she loves them i hope you're not watching this alice I really do not look cute okay so First things first, I'm gonna open this massive box I've got down here. Which is James's present. He knows what he just getting. He knows it's a coffee machine. Whoa, okay. How much have I got to wrap here? I have to get more wrapping paper. Jesus. Oh, cute. I got this mainly for me so I can make hot chocolates in it. Some pods. Some more pods. All right, we've just got so many pods. Okay, this is going to be a task just in James's. Now, I usually pride myself as being quite a good rapper, and that was simply embarrassing. So I'm not even going to show you what on earth happened there, but I've used a whole roll. So that's that. So I've got, I can't tell you who for, but I don't know if to keep this box just by itself because it looks adorable by itself. I think I'm just going to see how we're doing for paper. Because now I'm not sure if we'll have enough. Right, next. Let's do this one. All right, so we have a present. Now, we'll decide which colour. Merry Christmas one. Basically, so it comes out like this. Got this at the end, and then at these ends, bottom, you have a drawstring. So literally, all you do, and you've got a pretty little bow. And then I'll just do a knot at this end to keep it tight. And then you can put it around your present. And it looks stunning. Beforehand, I'm just gonna write my gift tag. Does anyone else just not know how to write or am I just an absolute freak? So you just decide where on your present you like it. I quite like them when they're off-centered, so in like a corner. Twist it, flip it around. And then what I tend to do is just wrap it under each side. And then you can just cut these bits off and you have one stunning little present. How long that took, I thought it'd be like a 20 minute job and it took me over an hour. But it's all done, I'm just waiting for two other things to arrive which don't even need to be wrapped and need to get my dad's and that's fine and I've wrapped James's one so I'm making him wrap his one for me because I'm not really about that, like I'm not wrapping your presents hun. My own presents, you can do it, I'll just supervise and tell him what to do. But yeah that took so long but I'm really happy with how cute they look and I don't know if anyone else does this but I literally have made a competition with myself. No one else knows that we're having this competition, but I just need mine to look the best under the tree. I'll insert a picture of last year's if I can. And yeah, no one else knows we're having this competition, but I just need mine to look the best for everyone else. Even though technically one of them is for me, but that's a whole other thing. Pin up the tree. Hello and welcome to another Christmas tree decorating vid. So I'm at my family's farmhouse and i am decorating the tree and this whole room so 
we have a tree it's been put up it's been outside for like two weeks and it's in all right shape to be fair so i've also got this fireplace to work with and this is basically all the stuff so need to put the lights up and we also need to do some little cute lights outside and then i'll do this like mantelpiece area hopefully it will look stunning so let's go for a ride these lights are easy because i like this so i can literally just go around the tree <laughs> See, it took me so long to put the lights on and then i had a bit too much for the top because i just didn't plan it right so i've kind of got it coming down to try and fill some of the gaps at the bottom because that's a mistake i always seem to make i always think i won't have enough so I'll go a bit sparse on the bottom but i'm hoping i can cover it with baubles so some of our stuff that isn't actually here it's back home which is why i get annoyed not studying because at home but anyway it's fine found this is it ribbon i don't really know it's just like gold with, sorry, red with gold snowflakes on. So I'm just weaving it, seeing how it looks. Might not keep it. See how it looks with decorations. We have these, which we usually hang up over like the mantelpieces. But because there's quite a lot of gaps in this tree, I'm thinking, do we just put them on the tree? Christmas lights outside. It's raining, I'm wet, but we're back in business. Whoa! Look at them! Doggy's first Christmas. Ted, did you care? Peggy, what's this? Is this a tree? Peggy, do you like the tree? I'm sorry, but is this not the coziest thing ever? The fire, the tree, and then we've hung a little garland up there and some stockings. It's so cozy. The flowers have arrived and the little berry things. Now the tree is fully complete. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you like it? Adorable. I got Christmas nails. How cute are these? Just white with the gold outline edge. Is that what we're calling it? Not really sure. Anyway, I'm just editing this vlog and it is a bit of a mix match. Cost to fuck of just everything. It's Christmas Eve Eve, so happy Christmas Eve Eve. I'm about to take down the tree, which is really sad. All this is going. Yeah, thank you so much for watching my vlogmas this year. I know it's been a bit rubbish, but I just had limited stuff to do. I tried to vlog us going to the Christmas markets, but um, it shot an hour early and they were closed, so that was fun. But yeah, happy Christmas. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video, if not in the new year. Bye!